Well, I saw a couple of YouTube videos by real estate agents saying there's a big shift coming. So let's talk about that. Hi, Rick McConner of the Rick Helps Real Estate and eXp Realty. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and click the bell so that you can be notified whenever I add new content. And forgive my foggy throat. California is sending a lot of smoke my way and it is killing me with my allergies. Um, big shift, huh? Well, let's talk about what they call the big shift. They're saying that um, inventory has really jumped and buyer traffic has gone way down and mortgage applications have dipped. I'm not seeing any of that. Now, when there's a shift, I'm going to tell you because I'm sharing the numbers with you every week. So where are we? We're still stuck in that 4,000 number rut. So we have this week, 4,152 new listings came up, 4,092 went under contract. It's been incredibly consistent week after week. The only change I've seen is in homes under contract are now not beating the number of new listings that come up, but it's barely moved the needle. It's maybe 300 homes. So that's not a significant change and that's not a big shift. Also, mortgage applications went up last week. They didn't go down. They went down the weeks prior, very little, but they went up 2% last week on a national scale and everybody's moving to the burbs. Everybody's moving to Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. So if you live in Coeur d'Alene, buckle up. Everybody's coming your way. So what is happening, and here's what I believe is happening, and I'm going to put that video up here and down below, is we are approaching election season. That always gets people all wound up and they sit on their hands. But it does not affect the current trend in real estate. So if real estate's going up prior to September, it's still going to be going up in January when everybody decides the election didn't kill them. If it's going down, it's going to go down. So whatever the trend is before the election, that's what's going on after the election. But during this period where we're all fighting on Facebook, in September and October, there's a lot of anxiety created over the upcoming election. And people say, well, I'm going to wait until the election's over to see what happens. Terrible, terrible move. Because if real estate's hot now and you're going to wait to see what happens after the election's over, it's still going to be hot. So you may have missed an opportunity to purchase what you want Interest rates are still going to stay low. So don't expect to see a big change between now and after November. And when they get inaugurated in January, still nothing going on. Now, having said that, you've heard me predict that I think we're going to see inventory start to crawl back up beginning in October. And I still believe that. I still believe that the anxieties that we have over the economy that are real, the unemployment, the businesses that are closing, the really bleak economic numbers, they're going to have an effect. They absolutely cannot continue to be that bad and not have people start to put their homes on the market because they have to sell. But we're going to watch these numbers every week and see if we're seeing that trend. Right now, that trend doesn't exist. So there is no shift. There's nothing new going on, except you are going to punch that like button. That's new. Mm -hmm.